Hello everyone, welcome to this walkthrough of Harry Potter and the Chamber of Secrets on the GameCube. Uh, in this uh, walkthrough I will basically just play through the game and show some secret uh, cards that are hidden and such, so we'll just crack on it. Alrighty, so first up is the burrow. It's basically just straightforward, like to say that you gotta do and such. And uh, yeah, let's just start with this first part. We'll start off with a cutscene. Watching Harry and Ron arrive at the burrow. Yeah, Welcome so, to the burrow, Harry. As you can see, unfortunately, I forgot to. There's something wrong with my GameCube, so you can like see the text. I'm gonna take that away as soon as I can. Did any of you ever give a thought of how worried I'd be? Yeah, but but beds empty, no note, car gone, um, could have crashed mom, out I... of my mind with worry. She's Did you very, care? Very Never. As, can as long as I've lived. Mom, now get outside and start denoming. De I've had yes. it up to here with all of you. So we gotta do Except a little you, of course, Harry. I'm not cross with you. Quest, but some like <laughs> mostly <laughs> involving gnomes. You ready to do a bit of denoming then, Harry? Well, I'm not so sure, Ron. I've been with the Dursleys so much this summer, I'm a little rusty. So I'm just gonna start by uh, taking the subtitles off. So first what you gotta do is hit this glass right here, which activates a cutscene. Well, not activate, but that's the first thing you gotta that do. That was truly smashing, Harry! Oh. Oh. When you're ready, we'll meet you in the so, barn. now we're gonna go in the barn. Skip this. Thank you. So this part is really just. <laughs> there are gnomes just everywhere. Them out, just really. Look, they're up in the rafters. <laughs> okay, Harry, target the little pest. So he says you gotta target him. The don't really have to target him. You can choose if you want to. I just do because you know it's easier. That's I find it easier to stand closer to the to that the nose good, because you can knock them up the much easier. They're heading for the garden. We'll meet you out in the barnyard. Also, there's a card here. As you can see in this chest right here, I'm not sure uh, which card it is, but there's a card. Let's see now. Number one. Merlin. Merlin. Of course. Yes, there are 101 wizard cards to be collected and traded. Increase your stamina bar with every 10 you collect. Alrighty. I'm not gonna collect every card. Harry. We'd like I'm you just to meet gonna, our like I said, show you That's some right, secret charming. cards now that are like anything hidden. But charming. This is a good opportunity to practice some dueling. There's dueling? one more card here. And watch that I'm gonna out when the washing machine opens its door. So and this keep washing machine fight is when the door basically is RNG. He chooses. You got hit him with Fulpendo. He can charge at you, or he can open his door like that. When he opens, he'll shoot like his bow. Best you can do is get hit by it because he'll open his mouth again. So I got perfect RNG now. Watch out. Three hits and he's dead. So if he shoots at you, just get hit by the foam or whatever it is, because he'll open his door or that whatever again. It, and makes I'd him, love to see that makes that fight much kitchen. easier. You look like you need a chocolate frog. So Here we'll you go. drop your frog. You have to frog. knock the frog out before you can catch it. Yes. Right, let's go throw you some knock gnomes. Out the frog. We'll meet you in the garden so when you're you ready, right Harry. Now. Boom. And you take it. There we go. Can we see it? No, you can't. Behind Harry right now, there's a chest with uh, a wizard card. As you can probably see behind there. We need to get a move on with the D gnome. Mom will go mad if she finds any gnomes left yes. in the garden. Look, so there's one over there. Now we gotta what you have to do is flipendo them until they're dazed and confused. Then you grab hold of them yes. and spin them round. <laughs> And chuck him out of the garden. Fred will get out 200, which is very, very wow, easy to beat. I've got to try this. Be my guest. And remember, and of course you get a card, the gnome, pick it up, uh, spin it round, and chuck it over the low wall. <laughs> I bet you can't throw a also, gnome as far as Fred did. Game, or hit any of, of the targets in the fields over there. Very, very, very much cutscenes. Some take a lot of time, some take not that much. But usually they take a lot of time. So we'll grab this wizard card. 
And this is... Number 59, Gregory the Smarmy. Gregory the Smarmy or whatever. <laughs> so let's start by knocking the snow tap. Boom. I usually hold when I spin, I usually hold one, two, three, four. On the fifth I drop and I'll get like beating very easy. And I get a wizard Number card. eight. Derwent Shrimpling. Yeah. Whatever you throw, Harry. Shut up. So you just gotta keep throwing these gnomes really. Boom. Usually just spin one time. After I uh, beat a red score. There's no point in like trying to beat your own. Boom. It goes a lot faster. You need to do better than that. And the barrel is, in my opinion, is very one of the boring part of this game. You know, we're just throwing and knocking over and. You need to stuff. do better than that, Harry. Doesn't take a lot of time, but in my opinion, it's very boring. Boom. Should be one more gnome and we're done. You need to do better than that, Harry. Push all the way over there. Just grab them up. And we're done. You need to do better than that, Harry. That went okay, I guess. It's late, boys. So now time it's bed. time for the day tomorrow. Diagonal alley, then platform nine and three quarters. For someone who's never denomed before, you've done an excellent job, Harry. Almost as good as Gilderoy Lockhart himself. Thanks, frog. Mrs. Weasley. I think you deserve a chocolate frog. So the way this uh, game is made is. After you're done, like with the day or whatever, you can press Z and press go to to do go to the to do list and just press A and it'll just end Weasley the day. Instead of going the all the way, Wednesday. like when you're at Hogwarts, she took a flower you can go the all the way up to your bed and, and then press A and then like a handful of food powder. Takes too long, so Harry just had never traveled by food go to powder the to do list and press A. And when he scattered the powder into the fireplace, he immediately swallowed a lot of hot ash. A lot of places. Yeah. Basically, felt as though he was being are sucked game. down a giant plug hole. Harry tried to keep his eyes open, day. but the whirling made him feel sick. He closed his eyes, wishing it would stop, so, and then he, he fell. fell. Yes, he fell. This is a diagonal alley, which is the second most boring part in this game, in my opinion. Because it's like the burrow, just like do. This boring stuff, just run and grab things, and not really exciting or fun, but part of the game. So, I'm also going to show you a couple of hit cards. <laughs> so, what you gotta do first to like get on is go up to this, and you'll see it says open, press A, and this will activate a cutscene, which involves Lucius Malfoy, Draco Malfoy, and what was his name? Mr. Borgin, I think his name is. It's Lucius and Draco Malfoy. Touch. So that's nothing, that's Draco. For a lot of cutscenes. Ah, so, Mr. Borgin. Mr. Malfoy. You just what a pleasure I'm not going to talk that much. Again. Uh, the Ministry of Magic is more raids. So I'm just going to let you guys watch more, this part. Uh, items like this at home that might embarrass me. Items that you are willing to sell? Correct. I'll expect you tomorrow at the manor to pick them up. Good day. Good day, Mr. Malfoy. Alrighty, that's that cutscene. So that's the Luma spell that you gotta grab. It'll come useful in a lot of places in this game. So let's just start off by grabbing this one. So this hand will try and knock you over if you get too close. You just gotta sneak a little bit and just grab it. There we go. Hopefully the hand won't hit me now. See? Nope. Very good. So, as you can see here, there's like nothing here. But if you use Lumos, I'll show you that you can push this wall and go. So now we gotta like fight this guy. We gotta knock him over at least. First off, you gotta knock off all these bases. And after we've done that, we're 
now. I just fell away. There we go. I just knocked him over, but he's still there. So what I gotta do is... Uh, I gotta knock him over again. Pick him up. We'll go over to this cage. And throw in. So he gets stuck and you can climb up. Very, very, very easy actually. So, you gotta go to the. I can show you actually. Your next uh, place to go is right here. As you can see, there's a ladder, but I can't reach it. So, what we gotta do is. Oops, call Hedwig. Hedwig! She comes in handy and. Two places that I can remember right now. This part and another part we'll get to later. So you gotta feed Hedwig because then she'll help you. So if you go to the opposite side, you find this chest. And inside there's an owl tree. There you go. Tip. So by feeding this to Hedwig, she'll help you. Uh, push down this ladder as you'll see in a few seconds. There you go. There you go, Hedwig. There we go. Very simple and very simple. Brilliant. Thanks, Hedwig. Hopeless, hopeless. So now I can go up to the floor or whatever above you. Now there's some uh, traps. Well, of traps in this game. Well, first off, there's a wizard card here. Got to say that. There's some kind of uh, fake floor, I would say. I'm not really sure how to explain it. <clears throat> Number 98. Dimp right so, by using Lumos, you can see where you can't step. If I go there, I'll, I'll fall down. So, always use Lumos. And you'll avoid. You, you'll lose a lot of damage uh, if you fall down. So, Alrighty, this last part, right here. So you want to go out to the diagon alley, but the door is blocked with some, I don't know what to call it really. As you can see, right here. That's locked. You can't go. And you can see there's a button right there. Unfortunately, that doesn't open the door. It'll open this gate uh, that we just passed. Which will hold the button that opens the door for us to go through. There go. And there's also a wizard card here that I'll grab right now. And this will be number five, Gulliver Pokeby. Right ho. There's the button. Like I said, like a lot of times, this to like the burrow and diagonally, it's really just gotta do. It's like there's nothing big you gotta do, like something fancy or whatever. You just gotta do this little small stuff, pick up some cards, whatever. So now we're in the diagonally. So I think I'm gonna stop uh, right here. Uh, yeah, and thank you uh, guys so much for watching. If you have any questions about the game, or you want me to do or whatever just leave it uh, and just comment in the like under the video and I'll try and explain or whatever best I can so thank you for watching until next time Robman signing out pop pop peace